Justin here with Old Glory Guns and Ammo from Greenville, New Hampshire. Just wanted to tell you about the cool things that we got into the shop this week. One thing in particular, really. Everybody's been waiting for it. The new Glock 44. 22 long rifle, semi-automatic pistol. This thing is really, really cool. The Glock really knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, you have a 10 round capacity, 22 long rifle. The ergonomics on it is just like a Gen 5 19, or a 19 in general, a Glock 19. Uh, they made it so the frame was the exact same size, the slide barrel was all the same, which makes it a really, really awesome trainer, or just a uh, cheap alternative to plinking around at the range. Uh, you got a lot of plastic in the slide, but it's really, really well made. You got your forward serrations there. They actually gave you some adjustable sights in the rear for windage and elevation, which is pretty cool. Ambidextrous slide release. The magazine release, of course, can be swapped over to the other side for you southpaws out there. You got your little integral mag well right built in. So overall, just like its big brother, the 19. Now obviously this one is a little bit heavier, uh, you have a lot more steel going on, but again, great training platform or just plinker in general. So I was just sitting in here compiling my thoughts, thinking about the world and what the difference would be between these as far as trigger pull, weight, <clears throat> can it fit in the same holsters, all these things that Glock says that it can do and the similarities. So I was just kind of checking it out myself. So, first off, holster compatibility. Happen to have a Galco Triton right here, just random holster that I picked off the shelf. Really nice inside the waistband Kydex holster. And as you can see, locks right in. Just like the 19 would. Just to show you that, take that one out, put that one in. Same, same, all around. So that being said, going back to that whole training thing, if you train with a Glock 19 and want to have a little bit less expensive ammo to run and you like to do a lot of holster uh, draws, then get the 44 and you have a very economic trainer. Uh, trigger pulls on these, uh, I was experimenting with my little Lyman gauge right there. Um, very, very similar triggers. They feel very, very similar. Um, this one is a little bit heavier, just a touch. Um, you're looking, probably feels about a seven, eight, nine pound trigger pull, thereabouts. Um, but it's a typical Glock trigger. It breaks like a Glock trigger, feels like a Glock trigger. So it's really, really nice, actually. This one is a little bit lighter, as to be expected, I suppose. Um, but you're running at about, you know, five pounds ish on the trigger pull on that. Um, as for weight, just curious how much they weigh because this one feels substantially different than the G44. So we have our handy dandy scale here. Let's see what it has to say. Completely empty. We'll take the mag out of it. And put it right on there. And yeah, hold on one second there, folks. <laughs> All right. So we're looking at ounces now. We got 19.625 ounces. All right. Zero that out. The Glock 44. 13.465 ounces. So considerably lighter. And when you pick them up, you can really feel it. And that wasn't entirely a fair comparison because I didn't take the magazine out of that. So just real quick. Just to get the full idea, there you go. 11.470 ounces. So, a bit of a difference in the weight, but overall, excellent, excellent little gun. We've been waiting for Glock to come out with the 22 forever. There's been some conversion kits out there, uh, and those are always good, but it's really nice to have a Glock factory 22 long rifle pistol in the exact same size platform of the Glock 19, which some people will argue is the most popular handgun in the world. So if you are interested in seeing one, looking to get into one, uh, by the way, if you like to run a suppressor host, we also have conversion kits. 
uh, new barrel uh, so you can put on any can that you like a uh, half by 28 thread they give you a couple other adapters in there too so um, great suppressor host from what I understand as well come on by everybody check them out very very cool we'd love to show them to you um, and thank you very much for tuning in to the